Hiya guys, uh, welcome to the Newcastle United Training Ground. It's Friday, we've just had a news conference with Eddie Howe this morning uh, and I've also had a one-to-one -one sit down interview with Elliot Anderson, the Newcastle United midfielder. First time we've heard from him since, of course, he withdrew from the Scotland squad uh, last month. Of course, he was called up to that Scotland squad. Um, Scotland would have given him a, an appearance against Cyprus in the first of their two games and that would have made him ineligible of course to represent England moving forward but Anderson decided to pull out of that squad and that means he is still uncapped at senior level meaning he can still play for either Scotland uh, or England so what he has done in the interview that I've done with him which you will see from on Sky Sports News uh, on Saturday morning on uh, Soccer Saturday pre-match so from 10 a.m. tomorrow extended interview with Elliot Anderson what he has done there is he's essentially left the door open for England to come calling he admitted to me that yes he does still have a decision to make and he feels that his performances for Newcastle moving forward whether good bad or indifferent will dictate which country he plays for it feels very much like the way he's talking that uh, if he's in the Newcastle team uh, this time next year or perhaps towards the end of the season the hope would be I, I think my understanding of what he said the hope would be that England come calling and that would be where his international future lies. It felt as though perhaps he was maybe being rushed into a decision last month with Scotland calling him up. Yes, if he'd played against England in the friendly, that wouldn't have mattered. He still could have ended up playing for England um, permanently. But had he represented Scotland in that match and got a cap against Cyprus, the game that Scotland were 3-0 up at half time, they could have brought him on for the last 10-15 minutes of that match, the last two minutes of that match, that would have been him with Scotland committed moving forward and it feels as though he's not in a position at this stage uh, to make that decision. So. Yeah, Elliot Anderson keeping his options open uh, and he does feel that his form for Newcastle would, will dictate where he ends up playing his international f f f football. Remember, of course, he was born here uh, in the North East in Newcastle, um, so he is English but qualifies uh, to play for Scotland uh, through his family. So interesting to hear his thoughts. As I say, you'll hear the full interview on Sky Sports News tomorrow morning, sometime between 10 o'clock uh, and 12 o'clock. I'll put in the notes below once I hear the exact time. Probably, I would imagine probably around about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, what else did we hear today? Well, of course, there's the bad news on Harvey Barnes. We spoke about it in this ex exact spot on Tuesday. Um, Eddie Howe fearing that he might be out for an extended amount of time. He said today at his news conference confirmed from the specialist that he will not resume training until the end of the year. So Harvey Barnes out until 2024 with that foot injury that he picked up against Sheffield United at the weekend. Now it doesn't require surgery but clearly a huge blow for Newcastle at this stage of the season given the fact on that left side they look very very strong with the option of either Gordon or Barnes down that left wing. You would suggest, you would think moving forward this means a lot more pressure on Gordon to stay fit and to perform week after week but listen let's face it Gordon has been sensational in recent weeks and you would want him in, in the team anyway but it's just one less option for Eddie how at a, a sort of crucial point in the season when the games with the Champions League matches all coming thick and fast. In terms of injury news for tomorrow, he said there'll be a late check on both Callum Wilson and Alexander Isak. Same too on Sven Botman. They all had knocks in midweek. Of course, Isak, he played and scored. His was picked up during the game. I felt very much like the way Eddie was speaking that all three are likely to be available and he should have a full pretty much a full complement to select from out with of course Barnes uh, and Joe Willock but it sounds as though those guys were planning to train today and are likely to be involved in some capacity against Burnley. So all going well with Callum Wilson at training today. Um, I expect him to come back into the start in 11 tomorrow. I think he will play a lot of Premier League matches, particularly home games against the likes of Brentford and Burnley and Aston Villas of, the, of this world, Everton's West Ham, who he scores goals against. And I think Alex Isak will start the majority of the, the Champions League matches where he can stretch the defences and they can play the ball in, in behind and use his pace. So yeah, I think he'll mix and match in terms of the, the strike force a little bit more difficult now wide left with uh, Barnes injury so um, you would expect Anthony Gordon to, to keep his place 
perhaps in one of the away European matches. You may see Joe Linton play, I think, wide left with uh, Gordon perhaps left on, on the subs bench. But I think the way he's playing right now, at this moment in time, it's really, really difficult to leave him out. And I think Eddie Howe will want him in, in his team. Um, with regards to other aspects, I think if he gets his regular back four back together with Fabian Scher and Sven Botman, they, they, they will play with Kieran Trippier back in there, despite Livermento being phenomenal the other night. Really, really great uh, first start for him. I think Trippier comes back in. And um, yeah, I think he's just going to be careful with what he does. And I think he'll try and make sort of three, four changes for, for the league games and the Champions League games. But I think the Carabao Cup's a bit different. We saw that 10 changes the other night, only Nick Pope keeping his place. I think it's a little bit different when, when it comes to that. So look, look, plenty of options. It's looking a little bit thin on the ground on one side with the injury to Willock and Barnes. Thankfully though, he's got Joe Linton back there, which gives him op uh, plenty of options in the left because Joe Linton could play uh, down there in the absence of Gordon if he picked up a knock or whatever but yeah interesting to hear what Elliot Anderson had to say today uh, confident young lad and you can see why he's doing so well within the team right now um, and he's just obviously feels it's a decision to be made in his international future but that isn't one to be made for now anyway that's all from me uh, guys please uh, subscribe to the channel hit the like button and I will see you in the next one cheers for now